first at 5.30, a furlough flap. Teachers in Woonsocket might have to take more than a month of furlough days, but they wouldn't be taking time off. They'd work those 40 days without pay. Tonight, the teachers' union is fighting back. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuller joins us now live with our top local story. The school committee claims it was forced to make the request due to a lack of funding from the state and city. The teachers' union says simply it's not going to happen. Woonsocket School Committee taking drastic measures to cut $6.9 million in spending to meet the city's budget. Among the proposals, eliminating most extracurricular activities and asking teachers to work 40 days without pay. We have no choice, and if we don't have money to pay them, uh, it is what it is. It's just a ridiculous number. It's not, even, um, it's, it's not even worth discussing at this point. The 40-day furlough plan would save the school department $6 million next year. Unlike other city employee furlough days, teachers would be required to work on their unpaid days. We're expecting them to come in and teach. Otherwise, we'd have to pay a substitute teacher, which negates the savings we would have by having a working furlough day. The teachers' union has already agreed to defer half of a 4% pay hike for five years and accepted a wage freeze for the next two years. If passed, when sockets 560 teachers would see a 22% pay cut, an action the Guild calls ridiculous. It's not going to happen, and B, if, the, if they do try to unilaterally impose it, we will fight it with every legal means at our disposal. Now, both sides expect the debate to heat up this fall as the high school offers only band, newspaper, and cross-country as activities. The school committee is still waiting on an official response from the Teachers Guild. The union's executive committee will meet Thursday to discuss their next course of action. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.